This is One on One. We're here with Dr. Glenn Wiley, who is part of the discussion tonight at Kessler Foundation talking about helping veterans, the research that you and your colleagues are doing uh, to help veterans, particularly around employment, quality of life issues. You're involved, uh, doctor, with neuroimaging technology. What is that? So that's um, technology that we use to look at where activation happens in your brain while you're performing tasks. Um, so we use a functional magnetic resonance imaging scanner. A what? A functional magnetic resonance imaging scanner, or fMRI. And we have people in the scanner, and they do tasks while they're in there. And we can see where in their brain activation is happening while they're doing the tasks. Yeah, by the way, I worked with uh, uh, Dr. Wiley and some of his colleagues trying to uh, talk about how challenging it is to communicate certain very, I don't want to say technical, but clinical terms to the average person. So as we break this down, it's going to be interesting. Let me try this. <clears throat> you and your colleagues are, are in very involved in research regarding, quote, Gulf War illness. Doctor, what is that? So Gulf War illness, it's also called chronic multi-symptom illness, and it's a constellation of symptoms that includes fatigue and pain and um, cognitive issues. So let me give you an example. Um, we had a subject come in a couple days ago, and he was a veteran. He had gone to the Gulf back in the early 90s, um, and soon after he returned, he started to experience widespread pain in his um, muscles and joints, and fatigue, both physical fatigue and mental fatigue. So physical fatigue is like you know the fatigue you feel when you run a marathon or do something physically strenuous. And mental fatigue is the fatigue you feel after you do your taxes or something mentally strenuous. And you and I experience these kinds of fatigue when we do something kind of big, like run a marathon. He was feeling this kind of fatigue all the time, every day. And you can imagine that had a really big impact on his quality. Actually, you said you can imagine. I actually can't imagine. So help folks understand. So what would that veteran be dealing with in terms of his or her ability to have any real quality of life and potentially be gainfully employed? Exactly, yeah. I mean, it has, it has a real impact on your ability to work because he was just exhausted all the time, every day. And he would go to bed tired, he would wake up in the morning still tired. And, um, and also socially. I mean, to be in a social situation, it does take energy. And he, he would end up avoiding it just to go home and rest. You know, we've known each other for a while, and one of the things I know about you is that beyond your clinical expertise and your research, you care deeply on a personal human level about uh, the, the people you help, particularly the veterans in this case. How hard do they work to try to put themselves in a position to have a, not just a great quality of life or a solid quality of life, but also t to work, to have employment. Yeah, a, I mean, a surprising number of these veterans, despite the fact that they have, you know, chronic fatigue and chronic pain, are nevertheless still employed. I mean, they, they put themselves out there every day. It is, it is amazing. You also have a relationship and work with the Veterans Administration. Talk about the connection between the foundation and the VA. So yeah, so we've built this bridge between the foundation and the VA. Um, and so for me, for example, I sort of split my time between there, between those two organizations. And um, we do the re a lot of the research we do at Kessler because we have a, a really good um, neuroimaging center. And then a lot of the other uh, more clinical stuff actually is done at the VA hospital because that's the right venue for that. Doctor, give me an example of how the research that you're involved in at the foundation can actually help, does in fact actually help veterans who are being served by the VA. Right, so the research I do is um, in mental fatigue and... Uh, Once you find out how challenging it is, it's interesting. Someone says, oh, the research around chronic um, uh, mental fatigue or cognitive fatigue, which means the same thing. Once you know it, what do you do with that information? Right, exactly. That's the next step, and that's, the, that's a really important question. And we're, that's, the next, that's where we're going. So right now, the study that we've just completed is looking at mental fatigue in Gulf War illness and how it works. 
and the next thing to do is to try to fix it. But you can't fix it until you know how it works. And so we have a number of strategies that we're going to, that we're actually starting to look at right now for how to alleviate fatigue. And that's, that's where we're going. That's, you're, you're optimistic about the future of not just the research you're involved in, but the impact on veterans. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, I think we have some good leads on things um, that will alleviate fatigue. We have, um, there are pharmacological things that have worked in other populations that could work in Gulf War illness. And we also know that exercise has worked to alleviate fatigue in other populations. And so that's another thing to try in Gulf War illness. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you, Steve. One on One with Steve Adubato has been a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation, celebrating over 25 years of broadcast excellence. Funding for this edition of One on One with Steve Adubato has been provided by TD Bank, Englewood Health, PSENG, Delta Dental of New Jersey, New Jersey Sharing Network, MD Advantage Insurance Company of New Jersey, and by Suez. Promotional support provided by The Record, North Jersey's trusted source, and NorthJersey.com. And by the New Jersey Business and Industry Association. Transportation provided by Airbrook Limousine, serving the metropolitan New York, New Jersey area. One-on-one -on -one with Steve Adubato has been produced in partnership with TriStar Studios.